In a previous video, I talked about how to select an ASQ certificate which is appropriate for you. So if you are interested in that, please click on the link above and that will show you how to select an appropriate certificate for you. In this video, I will be talking about how to prepare for CQE certification. Now ASQ CQE or the Certified Quality Engineer is a reputed certification. Now how do you go about that? The first step in that will be looking for whether you qualify for this or not. So you go to ASQ.org site and look for CQE certification that will give you the qualification required for this particular certificate. So here on this slide I am reproducing that. It requires 8 years of on the job experience in one or more of the areas of CQE body of knowledge. And a part of this 8 years requirement can be waived off depending on your educational qualification. So if you have a bachelor's degree then 4 years can be waived off. If you have a master's degree then 5 years will be waived off. So for a person with a bachelor degree you only need 4 years of experience. And out of that, three years should be in the decision making position. Now, many times people ask me, what does that mean? Decision making position is any position where you make decision. For example, even if you are inspecting an item, item is good or bad, you are making a decision there. So basically what it means is you need to have some related experience. So, for example, you cannot show totally unrelated experience here. So, your experience has to be somehow related to the CQE work. So, that is the first thing, looking at whether you qualify for this exam or not. So, once you have decided that you qualify for this exam, the next thing will be submitting the application for this. Now, when it comes to submitting application, ASQ conducts this exam, which is CQE exam, in alternate months. So, for example, this exam is not conducted in the month of January. It is conducted in February, then in April, June, August, October and December. So, these are the months this particular exam is conducted by ASQ. Now, these exams are conducted at pro-metric centers or you can also take these exams at your home and for that there are certain conditions there. For example, you need to have a room which is closed room and Prometric will do the inspection of that room using your camera and all those things. So basically there are two options in Prometric center or at your own home. Now comes the question of when you should apply for this exam. So to deal with that what I have here is a timeline and that basically will help you in deciding that when you should go for this exam or when you should book this exam. Let's say that your target is to go for this exam in June. So this is your target in June. Now to appear in the exam in June, what you have to do is you need to apply one month in advance. So for June exam, the application deadline is 5th of May. Before that, you need to apply for this exam. So basically, when you apply for the exam and when you actually go for that exam, you have 25 to 55 days. So if 5th of May you apply, then you have 25 days up to June 1st and maybe end of June, you will have around 55 days. So That is the time you get once you commit to a date or commit to the month. Now comes the question of what is the right time? Let's say you decided today that you want to go for CQE certification. So should I apply right now or should I wait? Should I prepare something and then apply? That is the question which I have been asked multiple times. So here are my thoughts on that. Let's say the application deadline is 5th of May. The first thing what I will suggest is even before you apply for the exam or think about applying for this, start doing some preparation. And my suggestion will be buy the online course which I am offering you buy that course because that is one of the smallest investment in terms of money. You spend very little amount on this particular course. So you take that course and you start working on that. You start preparing for the exam. Once you have gone somewhere half of that course, you will get a good understanding that what all time you need for this. For some people, 
statistics might be a difficult topic. For some people, it might be manufacturing or tolerancing and all those topics might be difficult. So you will get a good idea that how much time you need for preparation. So the first thing here is, my suggestion is, let's say in March, you buy the course and you start preparing. You spend, let's say, half a month, 15 days, 30 days. And then when you are comfortable that, okay, now I think I can handle this exam. Then the next thing probably you might want to do is order your books. This is an open book exam. So you can take your books in that. So I will strongly suggest that in addition to the course, you buy some books as well and be very familiar with those books. And what books I recommend? First thing is I recommend ASQ handbook. So for each ASQ exam, there is an ASQ handbook. So here we are talking about CQE, but right now in front of me, I have a handbook which is for the master black belt. So similar to this, there will be a handbook for CQE as well. You buy that. You can buy that from ASQ website, asq.org, or you can buy that from Amazon. So when preparing for this exam, use this book as well along with the course. In addition to that, some people use Quality Council of Indiana primers. So here is that primer, which you can see here. This is CQE primer. So you can buy this as well, or you can buy one of these two things, handbook or the primer. Some people buy both of them. So it is your choice. My first preference would be go for ASQ handbook. But this also is good. The Quality Council of Indiana primer is also good. In addition to those two things, I will suggest study guides. For some certification, specifically for CQE, there is a study guide provided by ASQ. This will cost you around $40. You can buy from ASQ and I guess you can buy this from Amazon as well. What it has is question and answers. So if you look at this, there are question and answers. There are explanations related to that. So this will be a good practice book for you. In addition to these three things, there are a number of other choices. Quality Council of Indiana provides 1000 questions flash drive as well. You can buy that for practicing. ASQ also provides questions. So you can go to ASQ website, asq.org. And they also provide practice online questions. You can buy those as well. There are many things you can do, but probably two or three things, particularly ASQ handbook, study guide. This is something I would suggest as a minimum you buy. So this is something which you will be doing, let's say in April. So in March, you bought the course, you started working on that. In April, you place an order for these books. So these books will come. And you will start preparing with them as well, slowly as you get more confidence that you will be able to do that. And then on 5th of May, you put your application. I would say before that, much before that. Put your application for the exam and then you appear in the exam somewhere in June, from 1st of June to the end of June. So this is how I would suggest that you plan for this exam. Typically, this exam will take 100 to 150 hours of working. So depending on how much time you can spare, every day two hours or maybe on weekend you can spend four hours or something. So depending on that, you plan your timing that it will require 100 to 150 hours for preparation depending on your skills, what you already have. It might take you three to six months for preparing for this exam. And once again, it will all depend on what all you already know and what are the difficult areas for you. And here are the resources. So I have already talked about ASQ handbook. I have already talked about study guide. I have already talked about ASQ question bank, quality council of Indiana primer and the quality council of Indiana 1000 questions CD or flash drive. You can buy the quality council of Indiana products from qualitycouncil.com. And let me warn you that shipping cost might be much higher if you are not in the United States. So I'm in Canada, so I have to pay around 60, 70, 80 dollars for shipping only. So when you are buying these items from Quality Council, think of your next certification as well. So buy more items in a single go so that you pay less for shipping. 
and then if you are in India, then qimpro.com is the site from where you can buy the Quality Council of Indiana products. And ASQ products you can buy from ASQ website or from Amazon. Now, in the exam, in addition to these books, you can take a calculator, a calculator or maybe two calculators because ASQ allows you to take a backup calculator as well. Here I have mentioned two calculators, TI30XA, which is a very basic calculator, but it does have statistical functions in that. But the more advanced calculator, which I strongly suggest is FX991EX. And on that, I have a separate course on Udemy, which teaches you how to use this particular calculator, particularly in context of ASQ exams. And then you need some tables, normal distribution table, binomial distribution tables, etc. So those are generally available in your handbook or in the primer, which I've discussed earlier. You don't need or you are not allowed to use Excel, Minitab or those software. So in any of my courses, if I've used Excel or Minitab, that is just to demonstrate the concept. So you will not be required or you will not be allowed to use these software in the ASQ exams. And obviously, in addition to that, probably I would strongly suggest that you go for Quality Gurus exam preparation courses. So what I will suggest is you go to qualitygurus.com and at the home page, you have the discount link related to all these courses. So I have a number of courses related to ASQ exam preparation. So if you have any comment or any idea, feel free to write that in comment section and I will respond to that.